I love honey, and as a honey lover, when I heard that the bees were threatened species, and the honeybees in particular, and colony collapse disorder, and all that, I was like, I'm gonna go into beekeeping. I work with the bees. I'm a beekeeper. I have my own hive, actually. And I work with the bees, make sure they're okay, make sure they're fed, make sure there's no infestation of the other bugs around. I think it's great how we got this far in three years. So we do a lot here at Mohives. So um, first of all, these were six vacant lots. And so the first thing we did was try to come in and clear off the lots. Um, in 2020, when Marion came to us and said she had a use for these lots, um, we thought this was a great use for it as well. So we own the building across the street, which is a commercial building, and it's leased and occupied. It also has a bunch of community garden plots on it that are being utilized every year. So it seemed like a great fit for the bees and the gardens to be next to each other. This is the Blue Hills neighborhood, and the Blue Hills neighborhood in Kansas City is one of the most historic neighborhoods with one of the strongest homes associations um, because the people here love here. It's a neighborhood where people are um, rich in culture and rich in community and rich in their love for Kansas City. I have been over here, I'd say about 25 years. I was excited because, you know, we, we need it. As a matter of fact, since they, at they tore down the houses and all the land was vacant, then what could be better than nature? Man, exciting. I love it. We're here to learn about honeybees and other native bee species. And so we teach about that and we learn about it together. Beautification is important because for the environment, environmental justice factors, nobody should have to look at blight and trash. So we clean up. And then um, we want to teach people about the economy of beekeeping. There is a whole billion dollar economy around beekeeping and it doesn't just involve honey. So we teach people about that. So entrepreneurial aspects of what it means to be a beekeeper or what it means to operate an urban green space. Um, so today we had to remove our medication strips. We put those on about every week. And then also we went in and checked uh, a couple of the frames just to check if there's brood, make sure the queen is in there and doing good. Last year I decided to change my major to ag. And I'm also seeing, you know, what else interests me and if I can get something going in beekeeping, that would be really good. Mm -hmm. I was honored to be selected as a woman of achievement in the Lieutenant Governor's first um, sort of award recognition for women across the state of Missouri. And when we came down for the ceremony at the Governor's Mansion, the First Lady said, you know, this is a great story. And she said that she had always thought about having bees here. Um, at the People's House, as she calls it, the Governor's Mansion, and she said, would you guys be interested in helping us uh, to convert the Governor's Mansion into an apiary? And of course, we jumped at the opportunity. The Governor and the First Lady have been amazing in helping us to carry our message to an audience that we just didn't have um, access to before. And we really do want to make this statewide because again, the conservation conversation is going to take all of us throughout the state of Missouri to really impact um, in a great way. And so we're doing our tiny part for the honeybee. It, certainly, honeybees aren't the only bees. There are thousands of different bees, certainly lots of native species, some threatened. So we open the door to bee conservation with what we do with the honeybees, but certainly we recognize it's so much bigger than that. So we're out with the Mohives Nature Action Crew, uh, teaching them how to conduct a bumblebee atlas survey. And the survey is uh, spreading nationwide, actually. And so we're using it to try and get an idea of what kind of uh, bumblebee species are left in Missouri, and then what their habitat needs are, uh, what they go to for nectar and pollen. But it's to give us a better idea so we can recommend uh, flowers and or uh, wildflower mixes uh, to landowners, uh, to landscapers, and uh, try and help the bumblebees out as much as possible, in turn helping other pollinators out. And MDC is helping us to carry that message to Missouri residents that honeybees are phenomenal at what they do, but there are lots of other honey or lots of other bees and pollinators that really contribute to the health of our ecosystems all over the state and all over the, the world, all over the globe. Conservation has to be an inclusive conversation. And we have to invite more voices to the conservation conversation. It's just been an amazing fun ride and that's been, been the best part of it, it's meeting the people, making the connections and becoming part of the neighborhood. <laughs>